Hello everyone, this is Stunter Collect here with another action figure review, and here we have the Snake Eyes movie G.I. Joe Classified Series uh, Storm Shadow. So let's go over the packaging here. So first we get that art, uh, Storm Shadow, fully masked, and then we get the Snake Eyes logo from the movie G.I. Joe Classified Series Storm Shadow. And then the side here we get with a bunch of logos here, the G.I. Joe logo, and then number 17. Here's the back of Snake Eyes here. And then you get the dragon uh, there, scaling down. Snake Eyes logo there. And then here's the side art of Storm Shadow here. And then here's the top of that logo again with the number 17. And then here's the bottom with the DCPI. But besides that, let's crack them open. And here is Storm Shadow out of package here. So there's already one thing that I don't like about uh, the figure. Uh, but... Uh, we'll go over that here in just a second. For first, let's go over the accessories. So first you get two of these swords double uh, You get two swords uh, Here so you get the white grip here with some gold near the hilt and then you get the black uh, Thing for the hilt here you get this blade here with some wavy looking details near the edge of the sword So yeah, and then you get two of those here and then you get these, uh, this um, holster for the swords here. So yeah, you just slide those in there with, like that. And then you get the peg there to pl uh, plug it into his back. But yeah, not much else for it. And then you get extra head sculpt of the unmasked uh, Storm Shadow, which is um, his alter ego is Tony. Um, so yeah, you get that scar across his face there. Uh, it looks pretty close to what he looks like in the movie. And, Pretty, fairly close uh looks a little off but from what i could tell it kind of I, I see the similarities um but yeah and then the hair looks good and stuff like that so pretty detailed but yeah that's all we got for accessories for him so here is storm shadow with the mask here so yeah you can see that face there through the eyes uh you get some seams through the mask here looks pretty good all right so the only thing that i don't really like about this figure is that in the movie it is pure white not like tan white dirty white you know what i mean um so yeah i mean i don't really like the tan look of it i wish it was what it was like in the movie where it was just completely paper white um but yeah you get the zipper down the chest here and then you get some more silver de detailing there on the jacket. You get these like collars here on the sides of the shoulders. You get a, a button on the top there. You get some shoulder pads there with some nice sculpting. Forearm pads here. You got wrapped up gloves. Same thing on the other side. Uh, these are, uh, he has fingerless gloves. Uh, he has like the skirt piece that goes down and then he also has a belt buckle across there. And he's got this like loose pants here. You get some nice knee pads. And then some uh, pads for the shins and calves here. You get some sculpts for that. And you got the boots here with some nice sculpting. Um, but yeah. They're, and then you get some, um, you get the peg hole for the uh, holster there. You get some silver detailing. But yeah, not much else to talk about. So let's go over to your articulation. So he has a hinge and ball joint head. So it goes down that far. And then up that far, he also has a ball joint uh, for the neck here. So with all that going, he can go down that far. Up that far, he can look left and right. He can move side to side. Uh, you can go all around if you want. Shoulders can move out that far. 360 rotation around there. Uh, butterfly joint, bicep swivel double jointed elbows pretty good and then wrist can hinge i think side to side yep side to side so down that far the sleeves are a little bit big and then up that far 360 rotation there it looks like he has gotten holding hands again for some reason like snake eyes did um he has the drop down hips oh yeah, i missed a part <laughs> ab crunch so he goes forward pretty far backwards really far too he also has a ball joint at the hips so you can go forward even farther and backwards even farther he can do side to side motions 360 rotation here it's a little weird there we go uh and then drop down hips can kick out that far the skirt kind of gets in the way there though kick forward that far 
backwards a little bit. Thigh cut, double jointed knees, which is nice. And then ankles hinge down that far and up that far, nice ankle pivot. And here he is with the alternate head sculpt and I kind of ran into a little bit of a problem. So I'm not sure if I wasn't supposed to do the 360 rotation around the waist there uh, because now his hip is a little loose now. So I don't know if I broke it or something there. So that's a little bit of a bummer, but if I find another one, I could probably just buy that and then I'll exchange it and say it broke or something. I just gotta make sure I find that receipt. Uh, but yeah, that's him with the other head sculpt. And here he is in that pose that he usually would be in in the movie. Um, so yeah, I like the figure. I mean, the only problem that I have with it right now is the color of white that they used for the suit when it was like pretty pearly white um, in the movie. Whereas this one's kind of like a tan white. And, um, and then I ran into that problem with the hip uh, being pretty loose after I did that 360 rotation there after it was tight. So it probably pushed a little too much. So I'll probably have to see if I can find another Shadow Storm figure at other targets. And if I do, I'll return this and get my money back for this one. And I'll, I'll get the other one before I do that. Uh, but yeah. I mean, it's a pretty cool figure to have. I recommend you get him. Um, with articulation, it's pretty good. Um, but yeah, he's pretty cool to have. Uh, I don't have like a regular Shadow Storm. I do have the one, uh, Arctic one, but I don't have one of these ones like where he's like dressed up as just a ninja without like the extra winter look. So I like this. Um, and then I didn't really mind him in the movie. I kind of liked Shadow Storm uh, in the movie a little bit more than Snake Eyes. I'm not quite sure. Uh, I was kind of torn between the two. Um, but, uh, alright, spoiler. So if you guys don't want to hear a spoiler, kind of like skip to uh, like a couple, uh, like a minute um, ahead. But um, in the movie, he didn't really wear the mask. I kind of wish he did. Um, but. That's all I really had to say, actually. Maybe a couple seconds. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, I do recommend you get them, though. Um, but besides that, that's all I got for the figure. So make sure you guys check out my link tree in the description for uh, my TikTok. Uh, it's like a shorter version of uh, reviews that I'm doing on there since there's a three-minute video thing now. And um, I just got my Twitch on there, so check that out. But besides that, thanks for watching.